Hey, what's up, everyone? Andrew from American Musical Supply here at Winter NAM 2019. I'm in the Fender booth with Rick Hines, and he's going to take us through some new guitar amplifiers, right? Correct, yeah. We've got a, a three brand new guitar amplifiers, everything from high end to, to affordable modeling amplifiers. So, yeah, excellent. Um, the first one I was going to talk about was the new Stapleton Signature Brown Princeton. Uh, long story short, we haven't made this amplifier since 1963-ish. Um, but strangely enough, it's the brown faces are one of those amps I think went under the radar for a long time. People knew tweeds and they knew blackface, but these have really, really come back in a big way. So, so much so that Chris Stapleton, that's his sound, that and a jazz master. So when uh, we approached him about doing this, he was very, very particular about what he wanted to do. He wanted to make sure the dimensions were right. Um, he wanted to make sure that the speaker was right. Uh, so that's what we did. We worked really hard to nail all the specs from the original amp as close as we could get it. Um, the only exception being a 12-inch speaker, which is what he likes to have in his okay. amplifier. So, But we replicated the one that he had in there um, with Eminence to get it just right. But it's hand-wired like it was in 1962. Uh, it comes with a really cool Filson cover. It's tube-driven tremolo. Um, but it's one of those things where it's like it's got a, it's got a volume and a tone. The rest is up to you. Yeah, so I mean, it's if, if you want something that gets really, really close to the, the killer sounds of that 60s, this is the amp to do it. Right on. Yeah. Can you give us a, a quick demo of that? Absolutely, here. I'll take you through a couple of different sounds. Great. Crank it up now. There you go. And then uh, I'm going to do the tube driven tremolo so you can hear that as well. There you go. It's yeah. not about the bells and whistles. It's about like pure tone. That's right. what this does. Awesome. So what else do we got that's new, Rick? Well, now we're uh, we're changing a little bit of the scenery here. Bass Breaker 30R, um, following the line of the Bass Breaker series, which has been this really cool kind of alternative thing that we've done. Um, a little bit more kind of British flavors, different tube types, different sounds, um, but all our own circuits. Uh, the 30R takes uh, its cues from the Bass Breaker 15. We did that, and that was a really, really successful amp. Um, but the thing that we heard from players was like, well, we love it, but I wish it was a little bit louder so I could gig with it, or I wish that it had foot switching capabilities. So we took that to heart, and the 30R is 30 watts. Uh, it's four EL84s. Um, it has two and a half channels, so you have a clean channel with its own EQ, then you have a gain channel, and then you have a lead boost, which is really cool. So you can do everything from country, to hard rock to on up. Um, it does come with a digital reverb, which is a really nice sound. Um, we didn't go with the spring reverb like our traditional amps because when you play high gain, it tends to kind of get in the way of the sound. Uh, so this always sounds really nice and pleasing no matter how much gain you're using. Um, XLR out uh, with speaker emulation, so you'll get a great sound going right, right into your DAW station. Even with the amp turned off, you can keep it in standby and still use it and record with it. Or even like live situations where maybe you can't run sound on stage, uh, which is great. And then uh, effects loop, the two button foot switch comes with it. Uh, it's, it's a great amplifier and it's all tube and it's at a really great price point. Cool, let's uh, hear a couple of sounds. All right, here we go. This is the, a little bit of the clean side. Switch over to the gain. And then we'll hit the lead boost as well. So 
pretty versatile amplifier. Yeah, for sure. Definitely an array of tones available in there. Absolutely. So you also mentioned there's something uh, in modeling that's that's new too? Yeah, so following in the line of the Mustang GT line, we have the Mustang LT25. Um, it's one of those amplifiers, especially for someone that's like beginning out or wants a great little practice amp. Um, it's got a lot of the, the great tones that are in the GT series, mm -hmm. but it's a little more simplified in the interface, um, a little easier to get around if maybe you're not initiated to modeling. So really you can spin the knob, get tons of great tones. Um, it comes with 30 presets, and then it has an Easter egg of an additional 20 that you can actually access once you go into the saving uh, okay. part of the amplifier. Gotcha. But honestly, like you can spin the knob, you can turn on and off effects. Um, it sounds great. It's got you know, British sounds, classic Fender sounds, great effects. So like if you're 15 years old, starting out, like I can't imagine having a better amplifier to, to just get all your favorite sounds from your favorite records. Cool, right on. Well, thank you so much for that overview. And if you're interested in checking any of these amps out, please visit AmericanMusical.com.